welcome back to my channel today i will be answering um the questions that i got in my comment section uh but first of all this is probably the most sensible background this is probably the most <laughs> sensible background i've ever had ever since starting my youtube channel so let's go to the questions that i was asked the first one was what advice would i give my you know pre-undergraduate student self when I was starting my biotechnology course and I've got some notes here so I'll be looking down here so first of all is one manage your time well and stop doing things last minute use your time wisely um, I think that's very important because as my undergraduate self you know you think that oh my goodness i have so much things to do when in reality you don't you just have a bunch of classes spread out through the day and then in between you've got like breaks and you feel like the breaks you can't do anything however that's when the wisdom comes in and that's when you have to you know manage your time well and since you're given the timetable beforehand you know you can um, prepare and decide what you could be doing during those break times instead of just lazing around with your friends do something productive and then second start a journal club so in my school we had a biotechnology club that wasn't really useful i'm sorry to say but uh, it was slightly useful but what i'm trying to say is that most of the times as students you wait for the lecture to start something you know to start that club to you know push you or stuff like that but at the end of the day it's up to you you're the one who's getting educated and since this is college you know how do i say this it's your university life the lectures have already done their bit you know they have taught you what they need to teach you but everything outside of that is up to you and you have to take the initiative to go study to start that journal club and you can start this with like the right friends it doesn't have to be with the lecture as long as you guys are reading journals that is very important and you know you share what you read anyway and then that goes to my third point saying find the right group of people school-wise and social-wise so you have to have your type of people that will help you encourage you support you both uh, school wise and both social wise you don't want to kind of have like um, a friend that's kind of like dragging you school wise and then a friend that's like dragging you social wise and then you're drained in both areas you feel me so you have to find the right group of people the right group of people as in you're on the same page same pace yeah and that could be different people in school and different people out of school and then my fourth point is um it's all in your head i know this doesn't make sense but most of the times you will hear that biotechnology is hard and i'm not saying that it isn't hard neither am i saying it's simple wait is that the same thing <laughs> anyway at the end of the day it's all in your head it's when you decide in your head that oh my goodness this is difficult i can't do it then you limit yourself i can testify to this i guess because biophysics i'm not really a physics person and it's not like there was a lot of physics but still um, biophysics was a course that i thought was very difficult however i told myself that i am going to pass this not just like pass like c pass i'm gonna get an a star and guess what i did it <laughs> that is the power of your mind and most of the times people think as you get older things get easier but in terms of your mind as you get older the flexibility is much more fixed so at a younger age or like right now at your undergraduate or during my undergraduate there was more flexibility compared to now right and so yeah it's all in your head if you have work to do and you're like oh i don't have time and yet you spend time time on social media and stuff like that and it's not really going to work i hope you can hear me and then 
mm, study apps you need to get a bunch of study apps at the moment i'm using evernote and i've forgotten the other one but the ones that i was using at the time were class up which was kind of like a timetable type of setup which is very good for like managing your time and stuff keep notes i love keep notes it comes in your phone if you're using an android yes however if you're using an ios you have to download it and then there's forest i'm i started using forest recently and i like it but i haven't been using it much <laughs> then there's quiz quizlet i don't use quizlet much but during that time i figured you know like when i study something write it you know ask yourself a question answer it and then it helps you recall and all of that and then note block i like note block because you can take a picture of something and it will change it into a pdf form so yeah and then um the other point would be follow some podcasts or educational magazines like nature silk press developmental developmental and then podcasts as well they have the nature podcast you can listen to ted talks you know don't just focus on like that specific field of biotechnology you know learn other stuff what i mean listen to a podcast on neurobiology or on um what else hiv and aids viruses you know you are in the science field and you're not gonna get stuck in biotechnology and so it's very important to kind of like get your mind used to those type of things and i didn't do that which is a shame <laughs> i recently started doing it and i think it's very helpful because you listen to all these different things that can even help you in the way you think as a scientist to be so yeah and then um, find your reading slash learning style of course in class they're just going to give you lectures and blah, 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 you get the point but you have to find what works for you what works for you would be totally different from what works for me as for me what works for me is when i read i write and then when i read again i write again so like i have a bunch of notebooks of like the same thing <laughs> and then after that i try and like recall and I write what I recall and yeah it's very useful it's very important it'll take some time for you to find what works for you but you know work on it what worked for you in high school might not work for you in you know undergrad I'm speaking for ex from experience because I mean I still do the reading writing thing right now yeah but it's kind of been difficult in malaysia i was like perfect and now it's like 80 percent efficiency because it's a new environment new things and so yeah you have to work in it again and then um my last point i guess would be learn more on bioinformatics bioinformatics is a course that a lot of science students didn't well but my classmates didn't really like follow i i guess i would say it was kind of difficult but then again if you start beforehand if you um, watch videos and people doing it beforehand before the actual semester where you have computational biotechnology or bioinformatics it'll be much much easier and it's very important because as you go on later on you're gonna do more a lot more of bioinformatics things so yeah and then also the websites that I do recommend a blast and cbi pubmed those are the only ones i can think of from the top of my head and then i got another question saying which books or references did you use the most as for me i wasn't really your role model student i mean i wasn't that bad but i mean i wasn't that what am i saying anyway the thing is in your undergrad you really depend on the lecturer's notes more than you do on like textbooks and like journals and all that stuff but then we have to get out of that mindset quickly because if you're dependent on like the lectures and notes and stuff like that as you continue on whether it be it in a workplace or like from a research institute wherever you go you become dependent 
you wait for like the lectures notes or something like that instead or like the lectures advice not advice necessary advice is a good thing but all the time you keep on asking your dependent so i think that's where i went wrong and yeah I, that's why i'm advising you to like go through journals go through like a chapter in books chapters in books i know books are like oh my goodness i can't read the whole book but when you're doing it with some people and you're discussing about it i think it would be definitely fun you know and challenging and like during that short extra time that you have in between classes you could be discussing about a chapter that you decided to read and then you know gain more knowledge like that you feel me so yeah the books i think these are good books because i kind of like used them in case i i needed to like check an answer real quick and so um you have molecular biology molecular biology of the cell you have a bioinformatics textbook dot dot semicolon a practical guide to the analysis of genes and proteins that is a very important book i used it a lot during my bioinformatics course and then you have by course i mean subject yeah. and then you have molecular cloning and then you have principles of development and then you have an introduction to genetic analysis and then you have developmental biology by scott f gilbert as you can see most of my books are leaning to like the interests that i i have and i still think they're useful even now so I don't really have any plant books I could recommend or immunology or microbiology books I could recommend but yeah I think that's something you have to discover or based on your interests you lean towards to those a certain type of books or like a certain type of journals and so yeah thank you for watching